So I've got Joe to get your tips out again. And when you're looking for certain horses that might be going up or down in grade, um, some people call it like a class move with regards to the drops in class, have they gone up in class? Does that influence your daily tips? Uh, yes, it does. I'm always looking at a horse that's gone up and down um, in grade. Um, normally, down in class, is, I think, is where you can get the value. Uh, if they've sort of struggled in a in a better race and then they get dropped a grade or two, uh, it can sometimes you see a better performance next time. Obviously, it works the other way as well. You can get a horse that's won impressively and it's gone, and then it goes up in grade next time. I, I do think people tend to, to miss that when they get pitched into a better race next time. They've normally gone up in the weight and because it was impressive before, they feel like they want to back it again. Uh, but, there's, you know, you often don't get much value um, when, they, when they've when they won and then gone up in grade next time. So for me, it's something I definitely check, but normally when they're coming back down in, in grade. Yeah, I completely agree. I mean, you might have a horse that might be improving and might be going through the classes and, and might be good enough to go and win one, yeah. two, even three classes higher than what it's been in. But yeah. I completely agree with you. Some people, if it's a 10 length winner and it goes up two or three grades um, in its next race, it might still be favourite because people are looking at how impressive he was on his on his previous start. Mm. But going up in the weights as well as going up two, three grades can mm. be like it can catch him out. So sometimes yeah. it's good to actually take those favourites on when you start seeing it. But then likewise, yeah. if a horse has been running well, in higher grades and it's dropped one or two classes, then sometimes you see a little bit of value because the form figures might not show. There might be fifth, sixth, nowhere or unseated and stuff like that. And now it's dropped yeah. in class. Some of these punters are like, oh, it's not in form, where obviously he's dropped in grades. So, yeah, it's definitely a factor that I always look for. Exactly. I think also it's it's about knowing the trainer. So, you know, for example, like Mick Appleby on the all-weather, he normally gets a horse that he feels is well handicapped. And then if he, get, he gets the first win out of it, it obviously goes up in grade. But he can often get like a string, like two or three wins together. Whereas then you might have another trainer that it will win first time out, go up, go up in the handicap, go up in grade, but then struggle next time. So you've got to bring the other factors into play as well when you're considering it. 